The town of Enfield was North London. The kid I was was a very outgoing child, very energetic. I love swimming and I love sports. I was sort of helpful towards my younger brothers and sisters. It was just like a normal family life, really. We had no knowledge of the history of the house before the happenings and the events started. This racket started to occur in the back bedroom and some disturbance. And my mum came into the room and she said, Johnny and Janet, pack it up and sleep. You've got to get up in the morning. And the chest of drawers near the wall and the door had slid into sort of the doorway. There was like incidents that happened to me, like the curtain which wrapped itself around my neck, which was quite life-threatening for me. And it brought it home to me that this could kill you. And we was all in a terrible state, very scared and tired of it. And it got worse as the time went on. We got more exhausted with it. It's what happens in the supernatural demonic world. In, in order to infiltrate someone's life, they don't just, oh, oh, I now have you, I now have you possessed. They have to weaken you by creating turmoil, noises in the night, things that go bump. They start to elevate fear, and they begin to feed on that fear. For the family, when weird things started to happen, they actually did the right thing, and they caught the cops. <laughs> And that's how the police were involved. They came to the house, they uh, investigated, they checked around, and sure enough, um, all the weird stuff that the family were saying were happening in the home um, actually happened to the police officers. This chair in the corner sort of shot forward about a meter in front of them on its own. And she sort of went like that, the policewoman, and she sort of looked in disbelief and was looking to see something was attached to it and one of us might be playing a joke on her maybe that's the sort of look she gave when you read their interviews it's like they could not get out of there fast enough my neighbor called the newspaper we didn't know what else to do i suppose like in desperation for some sort of help the chap on the news desk being a bit skeptical obviously didn't believe her at all the newspaper thought that my neighbor was drunk